everyone. I'm actually really excited because I've been looking forward to making this square for ages. And it's in issue 23 and it's the Winnie the Pooh square or the Winnie the Pooh balloon square. So we need several different colours for this issue. There should be five and those colours are the dark teal, sky blue, white, black and sunflower. We're starting off with the dark teal so we're also starting off with a magic ring. Don't put a slip knot on your hook. We'll start with a magic ring. Now I know you guys must have all got this by now, but as I film the full video, we're gonna have to do it again. You know how much I hate it. So, end of the yarn, left hand over your index finger and your middle finger and hold it in place with your thumb, wrap around the back, then over the front and we want to bring it and twist our hand over so we end up with a cross. We're going under the top right and pulling through the top left. Then we're turning our hook towards us so we end up with that cross of the yarn on the hook and then we want to go back up we want to pick up that top left piece again and then we're going to pull that one through our loop and then we've got our message and then we've got our magic ring please excuse the state of my nails at the moment they've got some sort of treatment on them and they're awful from the gels I used so I need to carry on filming the videos with no more excuses so you're just gonna have to ignore the state of them so we're picking this one out and then we are chaining two, one and two, and then we need to do seven half trebles into the magic ring. So yarn over and into the loop, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three, and there's your first half treble. And again, two, Three, four, five, oh, six, and seven. We are then going to pull on our shorter non-working tail slowly so the circle doesn't twist and pull that one tight so it closes up the circle in the middle and we're going to join this with a slip stitch into the second chain that we did. So I've got hold of my working yarn now in my left hand. If you look at your circle, if you turn it so it faces towards you, these two stitches here are your chains that you did. So we don't want the first chain here, we want the second chain, so we go into this one and we're going to do a slip stitch. And there we have got our first round. So moving on to round two, we are chaining two, one and two and then we want to do a half treble into the same stitch so we're yarning over and you can see the stitch there that it's picking up and that's that chain that we did we went into with a slip stitch so we're going to do a half treble into that one we're then going to do two half trebles into each of the next seven and that'll give us 14 stitches in total so we've got one, two, and that's in the first stitch. Moving on to the next stitch, three, into the same stitch, four, next stitch, five, same stitch, six, Next stitch, seven, 
same stitch, 8, next stitch, 9, same stitch, 10, next stitch, 11, same stitch, 12, next stitch, 13, same stitch, 14. We're then joining with a slip stitch into our second chain. So our second chain is up here. Go in. And we've finished round two. For round three, we're chaining two. And again, we're doing a half treble into the same stitch that we just did the chain into. We then want to do one half treble into the next stitch. We're then going to repeat around with two half trebles in the next stitch and then one half treble in the next stitch after that seven times. So two in this one. and one in the next and there's one set two in your next stitch and one in the next and that's your second set two in the next stitch one in the next That's your third set, two in the next stitch, and one in the next, and that's your fourth set, two in the next stitch, one in the next, and that's your fifth set, and then two. And one for your six and then two in the next and then one in the next for your seventh set we're then joining with a slip stitch again into our second chain for round four we are chaining two Doing a half treble into that same stitch. And then a half treble into each of the next two stitches. So one and two. We're then going to repeat going around with two half trebles into the next stitch, then a single, then a single then two into the next stitch, then a single, then a single. The magazine will tell you under round four how many times you need to do this and how many stitches you need to have at the end. So if you just count around, you can make sure that you've done it correct. I will just show you this a couple of times. So we're doing one, two, and then two single ones. So a single in that stitch and then a single in the next. And again, two into the next stitch. So one in that stitch and then the second one in the same stitch and then a single and a single. Keep that doing that all the way around the circle. Like I said, the book will tell you how many times you need to repeat it. It'll also tell me you how many stitches you should have at the end of the round. And I'll meet you at the end of the round to show you how to finish it off. So once we've got to the end of that round, we want to join with a slip stitch into our second chain again. And then we're going to fasten off that colour. So I fastened off the dark teal and now we want to move on to the sky blue colour and you want to join it to any of the stitches. So I'm just putting my needle through 
and I'm pulling the sky blue through, I'm actually going to knot it because I like to make sure that it stays. There we go. So I've tied that one on and then I'll put my needle through and pull through a loop of my working yarn. So we're moving on to round five and we want to chain three. So one, two and three. We then want to do a treble into the same stitch that we've just attached our yarn to. So yarn over into that same stitch, pull up a loop so we've got three on the hook, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. We're then going to do a half treble into each of the next two stitches. So yarn over and into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three, and the same into the next stitch, yarn over into your next stitch, pull up a loop so you've got three on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. We're then going to do a double crochet into the next two stitches. So into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops and repeat the same stitch into the next stitch. We're then going to do a half treble into the next two stitches. So yarn over into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three and the same into the next stitch as well. We're then going to do two trebles into the next stitch. So yarn over and into our next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and the same into the same stitch. We're then chaining two. And we're then going to do two trebles into the next stitch. So yarn over and into your next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two and pull through two, and then do another treble into that same stitch. We're then going to keep repeating what we've just done. So a half treble into each of the next two stitches. So one and two, a double crochet into the next two stitches. One and two, half treble into the next two stitches one and two and then two trebles into the next stitch so there's my first there's my second and then I'm chaining two and then I want to do two trebles into the next stitch one and two. We're then going to repeat that again. So two half trebles, one and into the next stitch, two, two double crochets, one and two, two half trebles, one and two, and then two trebles into the next stitch. One and two, and then chain two, and two trebles into the next stitch. One and two. We're going to repeat that one more time. So two half trebles, one and two. So we then need to do two double crochets. So one and two, two half trebles, one and two and we've come to our final stitch 
we need to do two trebles into that stitch. So pull through two, pull through two, and into the same stitch, pull through two, pull through two. We then need to chain one, and then we're joining with a double crochet into the third chain. So these are your three chains you did at the beginning of the round. So we're going into the third chain, pulling through a loop, yarning over and pulling through those loops. And now we've managed to square off our circle. So we're moving on to round six and we need to chain three. And then we're doing a treble into that corner space. We then want to do a treble into each of the next 10 trebles. So going into here, pull through two and pull through two, there's one, into our next stitch. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten, and we've reached our first corner of round six where we want to do two trebles, two chains, two trebles. So into the corner space, there's one treble, and the next two trebles, chain two, one, two, and then two trebles into the corner space again. We want to carry on with that pattern around the square. So we're doing 10 trebles and then two trebles, two chains, two trebles into the corner. I'll meet you when you finish the round. So I'm at the last corner of round six. We're going to do two trebles into this space. There's one. and two and after that we are going to chain one and we're then going to join with the double crochet into our third chain for round seven we're chaining three one two and three and we want to do a treble into the corner space again We then want to do trebles going across the row. I'm not going to tell you how many that should be. If you have a look at round seven, it will tell you how many there should be going across. And then just like the last round into the corner space, we're doing two trebles, two chains, two trebles. So I will meet you at the end of the round. So I'm at the corner of that round and I'm going to do two trebles into the corner space one and two and then going to chain one and finish off with a double crochet into our third chain again and the next round is round eight which is the final round before we put the border on so we are chaining three one two and three and then we're doing a treble into the corner space again. And then we want to do a treble into each of the next 18 trebles. So this is my first here. There's one. and two three four five six 
six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. And we're at our first corner where we want to do, guess what? Just like the others, two trebles, two chains, two trebles. So one. Two, two chains, one, two, and two trebles. One, two. So keep doing that all the way around. So it's 18 trebles along, two trebles, two chains, two trebles into the corners. I'll meet you at the end of the round. So I've gone all the way around. We're doing two trebles into the corner space. One and two. We're then chaining two. One and two. And then this time we want to do a slip stitch into our third chain. And then we can fasten that one off because that is the main part of the square complete. We then want to join the white yarn to any of the corner spaces so we can complete the border. So I've joined my white yarn onto any of the corners, doesn't matter which one, and I've made a loop on my hook and we're then going to chain two. After that we want to do ten trebles into the next ten stitches. So yarn over and we're going into our next stitch just here. So there's one. Two. Three. Four, five, oh, let's split the yarn, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. We're then going to do two trebles into the next stitch. So one in that stitch, and then the second into the same stitch. We then want to do a treble into each of the next eleven stitches. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. 
I just noticed a slight mistake in the book because it says that we're doing half trebles into the corner but we're not we're still carrying on with the trebles because otherwise it would make the corner shorter than the stitches that we've just done so we don't want to do that we want to carry on with trebles so we're doing one treble two chain one treble one treble two chains and then one treble And then carrying on with the same pattern round, we're doing 10 single trebles, two in the next stitch, 11 single trebles, and then in the corner we're doing one treble, two chains, two trebles. I'll meet you at the end of the round. So I'm at the end of the round. We're doing one treble into the corner space, and then two chains. And then we're finishing that one off with a slip stitch into our second chain. There's that one done. You can now fasten that one off and we need to make the balloon end. So we need to go back to the teal. So for my balloon tail, I've got the teal and I've made a slip knot and put it onto my hook. Once I've tightened that one, I'm going to chain four. One, two, three and four we're going to do two trebles into the first chain so yarn over into that first chain you made pull that one through yarn over pull through two and pull through two and then yarn over back into that same stitch and doing that treble again and that is our balloon tail done it's that simple you do need to cut a long enough tail here on this one though because we're going to be using this one to sew this one on to our square so now we've made the balloon tail the instructions say to pin it so it's slightly pointed to the left so at a diagonal i guess so i've gone ahead and already pinned mine on now we've got two tails hanging out of that one so i'd suggest what you do is put the shorter non-working yarn from that balloon end just push it through to the other side of your work so it's not in your way and then we can sew that one on after we've sewn around the balloon end so I'm just going to put my hook up through sorry went off camera just putting my hook up through and then I'll just set it round that tail end and just pull it through to the other side and then that's that one out of the way. So with this long piece that I've left I'm just going to thread my needle as I have shown you many a time. So put it over, squeeze it and then you can push it through. And then just like we have done with so many other things before we can just sew that one all the way around so it stays on and that is how that one looks once you've sewn that one on so the next step is to do the bees i'm going to do them off camera because i've made them on camera before so what i will do instead is i will provide a link with the exact times and everything of where the other video that you need to watch to do the bees and then I'll come back and finish off the string for the balloon and the highlight as well. So my bees are done. Let's just ignore how big that one is and how ridiculous it looks but I can't be bothered to do it again so I'm not going to. Now we want white on our needle and we're going to do the highlight on the balloon and it says to follow the curve of the stitch to make sure that it's got the rounded shape so I'm just checking now to see how wide they've done it and it literally goes across two stitches so I'm going to go up through this one here make sure to hold your yarn at the back otherwise it's obviously going to come all the way through there's so many ends on the back of this one it's ridiculous so it's just got to be two stitches wide so I'm literally going to go in this one and then we're following that curve 
so remember to keep hold at the back so I've done that and then we'll just go up through the same space again and then back down through that gap again I think they've only done in that twice just like that as well so that's plenty we can tie that one off we're moving on to the string for the balloon now and I'll be completely honest with you I've read the instructions a hundred times I literally have no idea what they mean so I'm just going to go by what it looks like in the magazine, I guess, and just make it up as I go along. So they want us to go around the top of the tail of the balloon that we made. So I want to go in here, ideally. Remember again to hold your yarn at the back, otherwise it's going to pull all the way through. And then we want to go to the other side of that one. Again, mine's an odd shape. I'm going to go in there. Pull that one through. And just like we've just done for the highlight, we want to go over that one a few times. So go back up through the same place. And back down through the same hole. And then do that once more in the same place. Oh, my needles just come off my thread. The next instructions are to add a chain stitch and a short straight stitch to represent the knot on the balloon. I don't know what that means. So we just want like a little knot to sort of add on to that. This is ridiculous. Look at the back of my square. How are we supposed to work with this? So we just want a little knot to come off the side here. So I'm just going to create a couple of diagonal stitches. But start them slightly higher up so it forms like a circular shape rather than just a line. And then I'm going to do one on the other side. There we go, something like that. Do the same on this side. And back through the same hole. There, that is pretty much what they've done. I hope that's okay. I think it looks okay. So now we need to do a back stitch of the tail, a diagonal from here to down here. Now we're going to want to do this as a back stitch. So the first stitch I'm going to do, I'm going to come up around here. So then we can back stitch it. So then we'll go back through where we did those stitches across the balloon tail. And then, so you want to follow that diagonal line down so I'm going to go in about here. Don't make your stitches too big because the smaller they are, the neater it will look. Then it wants us to go under this one for some reason. I don't know why. We'll see what it looks like. And then go back down through that same hole you just made. And I'm going to go up through here, still carrying on at that diagonal. And then back under those two stitches again.
in that one. Then our next stitch a bit further down, but still on the diagonal. Remember to go behind those two stitches. And back in through that same hole. I'm going to start to make this one drop down a bit now I think so rather than carrying on and going like through here at the same diagonal I'm going to go slightly further across and then through those two stitches sorry for knocking the camera that and then back in through that same hole Up through my next one, behind those stitches, down through that same hole, and then I'm just going to come out a bit. <laughs> Then out a bit again. And then I'm going to aim it down. I don't want to make the stitch too big. I'm going to go in through here. Now you can go back in through that hole. And there's that one done. So fasten that one off. That's the end of the square and I'll show you what it looks like once I fasten that one off. So there's that square complete. I took flipping age and it's, it's taken me literally I think about four weeks to film this square because I kept picking it up and putting it down because I really didn't want to do the sewing. Um, I'm not looking forward to this. I think I'll probably put that to one side for a while and come back to that. Um, but that is our Winnie the Pooh balloon square complete. Well done all. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.